Hi guys, Spect here. I just thought while I'm doing a couple of videos, I'll um, update you on a particular topic that I get a lot of emails on, which is why did I change from finasteride to detasteride? Um, the simple answer to the question is because I've been on finasteride 16, 17 years, um, never had an issue with it, never had any side effects personally. I know some people can. Um, I've also dealt with a lot of people that have had no issues whatsoever and you tend not to hear from those guys. But the my ultimate secret to my success was finasteride. It enabled me to keep and maintain and regrow hair in my mid to my crown. Um, but after kind of 16, 17 years on the medication, I had fathered twins on the medication. You know, it's another question that I get asked a lot. Should I come off the medication? Personally, I'm not a doctor. I didn't come off the medication. I fathered twins at first attempt. Um, but speak to GP. It's your prerogative, what you want to do if you're going to um, try and conceive whilst on the medication. Didn't cause me any issues, but that's not to say it's not going to cause you any issues. So speak to your GP about that. But Sorry, I'm digressing. The point I wanted to make of this video is I chose, um, after being on finasteride for a number of years, uh, that well, whether I was a bit paranoid or not, that I was possibly slightly losing a little bit of ground in the, in the crown region. Um, however, I decided to get onto detasteride a few years ago now, and I've got to say, I'm glad I did. Uh, I had no um, side effects. I had no repercussions from taking the medication. Um, I felt, whether it's psychosomatic, you know, that I'm putting the best form of defense in there against my, my uh, the progression of hair loss and, and potentially the risk of me losing further hair. So I decided to do it personally. I, you know, I, I, I'm really glad I did. Um, that's not to say that everyone should go and do that. If you're getting on with finasteride, stick with finasteride. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I'll put some information below in this forum topic. Um, that'll go with this video with regards to the differences between finasteride and detasteride, if you're not familiar with it. If you're starting out and you've not taken hair loss treatment and you want to personally consider taking uh, a DHT blocker, such as finasteride, I would recommend, I'm not a GP, I'm not a doctor, I have no medical background, I'm just a patient who has experience with the medications. Um, I would personally advise getting onto finasteride first rather than detasteride because it's kind of stronger. Uh, detasteride is much stronger. So see how you get on with finasteride first. But remember, I was on finasteride for 17 years. So um, it's only going to last or potentially it's only going to have its benefits for so long. I know countless guys uh, that even are involved in the industry that have been on it longer than I have that are still taking it and they see no reasons to up it. So everybody's different. That's an important fact you've got to understand. Everybody's different. Everybody responds differently to the medication. Everybody's DHT levels are, are, are you know, at different levels. You know, your hair loss could be more aggressive than others. So it's, it's a very much a, a, a personal thing. But personally, my advice, if you're not on any form of um, kind of treatment, a regime to protect against further hair loss because hair loss is progressive, my recommendation would be starting out, consider starting out on finasteride to start with, way before you consider going on to detasteride. I went on to detasteride after 17 years of being on finasteride. Sorry to repeat myself, but um, I decided to do that because I just felt maybe I was losing ground with finasteride. But I hope that helps answer a number of the, the questions. I'll also link below to the topic I made about upping the juice from finasteride to detasteride. And uh, hopefully you'll have found this video and the, the original topic of use. And obviously if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, use my website and uh, you know, fire away. I'm here to help. Okay, take care.